guy, you're not nice, you're rude Want me to feel like I'm no Want me to watch you do you Don't get your looks so nice But you're not nice, you're rude Look what you put So today I'm gonna tell you about the story How I got lost In the States with my friend And I thought I was going to die Like, literally I thought I was going to die So, me and my friend I'm gonna call her Sarah a little backdrop story, we was in the States with my mom for a conference. She had a conference and we just went with my mother. And we had basically nothing to do because we were not from there. We did not have no source of transportation. We was not taking an Uber. We was not trusting them things. So we was basically just at the hotel. So one day she was like, we're going to call her friend Jason. One day she was like you want to go chill with Jason and I was like sure we have nothing to do so I was thinking we was gonna go in the day but as my mom was at the conference in the other hotel and everything's gonna be fine so we had other plans he came that night so we already told my mom when she came back from the conference that we are going to hang with her friend Jason for a while he lives here you know do something fun so, I thought we were going to do something fun. So, it was about 5, 6 o'clock when we planned all of this and told her and everything. So, everything was straight. We're just waiting, 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 waiting until Jason came. So, he was like, oh, I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to do this, or whatever. So, he's like, okay, we'll wait. This was about 10 o'clock. My curfew was 12 because we were down in the States. Where are we really going? Where were we going? We do not know this place. Like We're just waiting, waiting, waiting. 10 o'clock rolls by. And he was like, I'm downstairs. Bitch, we've been waiting on you from 7, okay? So I was like, okay, whatever. We can still go, whatever. Um, I just thought we were going to chill out. He isn't really going nowhere special. And in the meantime, as we was waiting on him, me and Sarah decided let's go to the gym. So I had on a sports bra and some tights and a jacket. That's it. And some tennis. That's that's all. So he comes, we get in the car, start riding. Because where we were staying was kind of far from like where everybody usually be in Miami, I guess. So we it was like a long drive to his place where he's gonna chill. We were still on the road at 11. And I was like, we have to go back home for 12. So I was like, it doesn't make sense going all the way down there. Sarah noticed, I'm just in the back seat on my phone like, where are we going? Where are we going? Thank goodness I bought a chip to work with my phone so I could have data and stuff. And the great part about it, my phone was dying. Dying. It was it was dying on like 20%. I was furious. Y'all know I was furious. So I was like, oh my gosh, I hope my phone don't die. We're out here. We don't know where we're going. My mother probably, she doesn't even know where we are. I was like, Lord, be with me. So through the whole time, I was talking to my friend, Tatiana, that's her real name. I'm not going to really disguise the name. I was talking to my best friend, Tatiana. I said, girl, I don't know where I'm going, but talk to me, you know? Just to have somebody to talk to me because obviously my friend was in the front seat talking to the guy. I mean, they was even talking. That, that, that whole thing, this whole thing was just, it was a complete disaster. It did not make any sense. Now we're going to this boy's place. And I was mad. I was irritated. I was annoyed. I just did not want to be there anymore, and when I'm angry, anybody, when I'm annoyed, anybody who knows me, I don't talk to you, I show you the most bitchiest attitude, and I just want to leave. So, we went to the place, and I was already mad out of this world, it was like, it was close to 12, it was about 11.40 something, and I was like, Sarah, this does not make sense. Just tell them, let's go or whatever. Or let's go back home or whatever. Y'all can chill for like about 10 minutes max. And then we could go home. So, me, 
already was irritated because she was not even listening to my plan. I was like, what the hell? I don't know where I am. I just want to be home. My phone is dying. We're going to die. <laughs> like, we're going to die. So, she was not listening to me. So, I was like, okay, I'm going to be a bitch. So, we pull up to this place or whatever. And Tay went inside. But I sat outside. This is like a condo type thing. It wasn't like, it was like a gated Catered apartments. Let's put it like that. And so I felt kind of safe, but I still did not know where I was. I don't know who lives in these other apartments. Like, you know. But I decided, with my dumbass, to stay outside. So I was like, okay. I was stay outside. Whatever. And I was like texting my best friend. I was like, girl, I don't know where I am. I just want to go home. I give him my mommy. State somebody. I said, can you call my mommy? Cause, and I was trying to call my mommy. My mommy was not to me. I said, can you call my mommy? I told my mommy, I don't know where I am. I don't even know what to do because she couldn't even come for me. And I sent her my location because she could probably send it to my mommy on WhatsApp. You know, I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't even know how my mommy was going to get me. My mommy. I was like outside by myself just chilling with no jacket. Sports bra, tights, tennis. No jacket. Why don't I leave the jacket in the car? I don't know. So my friend was inside or whatever, and she was like, she was like, why am I outside? What is, what, what happened? I, tell me what happened. And I was like, I just wanted to leave, and you did not understand that I wanted to leave. And she's like, oh, his friends went with the car. Come again? Yeah. His friend. The, the car that we, uh, gone as in gone i was like what what i was like how are we getting home and she's like oh i don't know because he say he don't know where they gone and that's an girl what do you mean you don't know what how are we leaving here it was like about 12 o'clock max then i was like this is why i said let's leave this is why I said cheap as we turn around. This is why you don't listen to your friends. Okay? This is why, especially in the States, where you don't, or in a foreign country, place, wherever, you are not, you do not know where you are. Like, just don't trust anybody. Trust yourself. Trust your mind. Don't even trust yourself. But still, I was sitting outside and I was like, So, I basically couldn't do anything. I was like, what the hell? So, I started panicking even more. I was like, Tatiana, I don't know where I'm, how I'm going to get home. I don't know where I am. I'm going to die. I'm outside by myself because I wanted to be such a bitch or whatever. And I, at this point, it was too late to like go inside and try and be nice because I already was a bitch. And it, it just, it, it wasn't going to look good. I don't know what I was thinking, but all I know, I was thinking in my head that I do not want to die. So, like, me sitting outside for, like, about, say, about 30 minutes. I really was sitting outside for about 30 minutes. And, like, a bunch of people just passed me, coming out there, like, pulling up to the to their house in the parking lot, coming out of the car, walking to their door, and just looking at me like, who the fuck this girl is? You know? But I did not care. I just, it was my main focus was getting home. Like, I... The one person that I knew in the States was not answering me. The second person was at a party and could not even come to for me. I was like, what am I going to do? So I finally got my mother and she was like, where are you? I was like, I don't know. And she's like, what's your name? I don't know where you are. I shouldn't have come with this girl. She said her boyfriend's gone over the car. And I don't know how we get home. But I don't really don't know what to do. So eventually my friend came outside. And she was like, the boy said that he's going to get an Uber for us. This was like 12.30, 12.45. I was like, what? And at this point, me and her, we was really at a big disagreement. Like, we had very bad attitudes towards each other at this point like we was basically not friends and we were away together and we were together we were stuck together whatever so i was at this point i was like fuck this girl just 
get me home. So he was, she was like, he's going to call an Uber or whatever to come bus and drop us back. I was like, a what? One, we don't even know who's be driving these Uber, Ubers. Two, we are not from here. We do not know where we are, where we're going, how to get back to the hotel. Three, who is paying for this shit? So she went back inside. And they probably must see a range of Uber or whatever. At this point, did I tell you that my phone was already fully dead? And I had basically no one to talk to. My best friend did not know anything about nothing no more. I could not call my mother. It was about 1.15, 1 120 when this Uber finally magically arrived. And me and her get in the back seat. And this is where I thought I fucked up. This is where I thought I fucked up. So... We're just sitting in the Uber or whatever, I said goodnight, yeah, hi. And we're like going on our way. We could see the little GPA, GPS system saying that we're going to Crown Plaza, that's where we were staying, or whatever. We can see the GPS or whatever, and we're going, we're going the right route, I'm thinking. So this man pulls off, like he goes through one corner, comes off our whole route, and I was like, what? the fuck is going on i was like oh my god my phone is dead i don't know what to do this man is gonna kidnap us kidnap us he's gonna rape us we're gonna die we're going to die in the states nobody's going to know about it we're gonna be on the miami news i don't know so he turned off and my friend was like we're going to crown plaza and he's like yeah i know i had to make i had to make an act stop First of all, why are you making a bunch of trips if you already have someone inside the car? I am basically thinking, why are you going to combine two people, two different people? Like, you don't even know these people. Like, how could you just pick up a bunch of people in one Uber? Like, who does that? Suppose you bring someone in the car who want to beat my ass or I want to beat their ass and then we end up fighting in your Uber. Then what? This was your idea. Your idea. Or like, if you want somebody else, don't tell the person if someone else calls you, be like, I already on a job or something like that. Like, I'll be available if you know you ain't available. So, this boy sat in this car and smells like 200 pounds of raw weed. I was like, what? So, he drops this boy off first, so it wasn't even a problem because his house was, his house was literally walking distance from where he came from. I was like, you could not walk your ass home. You had to call a Uber. You really had to call a Like, it was, it, the boy house was there. You go down the road, around the corner, his house was over there. I was like, who does this? Who really does this? We are in a serious predicament. So... After that, he drops the boy home, and then it takes us about the next 30 to 45 minutes to get back to our hotel. And at this point, I was like, fuck you. You're never coming back on a trip with me ever again, and we are not friends. Obviously, I said all of this, and then I took all of it back in the morning when I forgave her, and I was like, you know what? It wasn't really that serious. No. That taught me a big lesson. Never to trust anybody when you're in the States, never go anywhere with anybody that you don't know, even if your friend knows them, let your friend go. You don't go. Let your friend go. Let your friend do whatever your friend want to do. If your friend say, oh, come with me. Nope. Don't go. That's just, that's just it. I just <laughs> never go nowhere if your phone is not on 100%. Not no 98, not no 99, 100%. Okay? Because... My phone dying just, that was just, make it die. If you would like to hear more story times, you can comment down below. And I mean, I will have more story times, obviously, obviously, obviously. But if you enjoyed my video, you can give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel for more story times and makeup tutorials and more random stuff because this is me and I am a very random person.